In this Python Streamlit tutorial, we will make a web application with a date input object. After entering values into the input and date objects, a message is displayed on the screen when the button is pressed. This message will include information such as name, company and number of days worked. I will show you how to apply the application step by step in the video. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. So let's start. First, I create an input object for name. I will activate the web server. I open terminal. I open command prompt. I run activate, which is the command program in the script's file. Now the codes I run will run in the virtual environment. I go to Ven file. You can activate the web server using this code. I activated a web server that contains an input object for name. Now I create an input object for the company name. I added the second input object to the web page. I will create a date input object. Using this object, the user can select the date he started working at the company. I added the date input object to the web page. I will create another date input object. Using this object, the user can select the date he left the company. I added the second date input object to the web page. The default values of date objects are the current date. We can change this. I am importing the date time library. I send default values to start and end date objects using the date time library. I change the default values of the objects. I need the day difference between two selected dates. To do this, I will first convert the selected dates to string. Then I will save the objects to the list using the split function. I will create two variables. I will send the year, month and day values in the list of these variables. I will create a button. If the button is pressed, I want a message to be shown on the screen. In this message, I will show name, company and the day difference between two dates. I am saving the code file. I enter values into input and date objects. When I press the button, the information message is shown on the screen. In this video, we learned how to use the date input object. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.